Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Alexis here. This is your first time watching, I'm Alexis. I'm a flight medic in the Air Force Reserves. If you've always been watching, rocking with me, welcome back. I know it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, but I'm finally in flight school, so I'm excited to share a lot of information with you guys. And also recently just applied um, for tuition assistance and got it approved. So I wanted to share that process with you guys as well. Um, in my last video, my last upload was about CR, CDCs, good news. Completed my CDCs, okay. We are a five level at this point. Okay, so we completed, uh, I completed my CDC successfully. I'm so happy that's done with, that I got that completed before getting here to flight school and starting my other school education as well but in this video specifically i want to share with you guys how to apply for military tuition assistance air force edition all right and i'm going to break this video down into three separate parts one is going to be to clarify the first part is what is tuition assistance clarify what that is secondly what is required before you apply and then lastly how to actually apply for the tuition assistance. Yeah, so the first part was tuition assistance. It is something separate from the GI bills, right? We have Montgomery GI bill, we have 911. Those are additional financing options for school, but tuition assistance is something completely separate. Um, something that I've heard it called is just free money. We get $4,500 every fiscal year to, to just uh, pay for classes. Yeah, and tuition assistance, like I said, is just for class cost, so not books or, or a dorm or boarding or anything like that, just for the cost of your class. So if you're saying you wanna take one class here, one class there, two classes, knock out some basic general classes, tuition assistance is a great way to go just to get those small ones out of the way. I've heard from so many members that they try to use up all of their TA or use their TA first before they start tapping into their bill, their GI bill or Montgomery bill, just because it renews every year. Um, and it's something that's readily available to us. And so for me, I'm doing that also because the classes that I'm taking now, they don't cost that much. In the future, when I transfer to my second university, it's gonna be a lot more expensive and I'll use my bill during that time. Okay, so um, that is what tuition assistance is, some free money to cover just class cost, um, class cost that you can use to kind of work on that degree that you maybe joined the Air Force for. Okay, so that's what tuition assistance is. I got my notes here if, you, if you're wondering why I'm looking down. Next, I want to talk about what you'll need before applying, right? There's a couple of things. One, you have to complete the TA briefing or tuition assistance briefing. You can either do that in person or you can just call your education office and get it emailed to you. That's what I had to do because usually the briefing is on a Sunday um, of drill weekend and I'm always leaving early because of my commute home, I get on a trainer home and we leave before the briefing even starts. So they emailed it to me and I was able to get my process started so you don't have to attend in person if it's like, if you're physically unable to, but you do have to complete that briefing. In that briefing, you'll get all of the documents about the GI Bill, the 911, about tuition assistance, about how to apply step by step really great useful information that you'll need and also you'll have to complete before you start everything um, and it's a great resource to see if you have any questions unanswered questions and if you do you just reach back out to your education office or contact and they'll be able to assist you yeah so you have to t attend the ta briefing you also need a cac reader okay this process you have to access the air force portal and a different system that i'm going to talk about in a little bit to apply for everything and so you need a CAC reader to access those military sites and as a reservist we only go to our unit once a month and so you don't want to wait just until drill weekend to do that so make sure you have a CAC reader so you can access everything next you will need a degree plan the degree plan consists of the degree that you're getting how many credits it's going to take you to get there any transfer credits any elective courses all of the courses that you're taking to complete your degree plan and you also need your advisor to sign it so it's so important that you already have those decisions made because you won't be able to create the degree plan and submit or apply for ta without them then lastly you'll need that account that i just mentioned the afvec account you can just go to the F air force portal type in afvec it pops up you want to make sure your account is 
readily accessible, uh, that your information is correct, and you can access it because that's where you apply for TA. Okay, so that's what you need. Next, part three of this video, is how to actually apply. All right, I'm gonna break it down into four steps. Yeah, the first part is that you need to make sure that you've completed the virtual benefits training. It's in there, okay? And also make sure that your supervisor's information is correct. They are a part of approving your TA, and so make sure their information is there, their email, and alternate email as well. Okay, secondly, you have to create an education goal, right? On the left-hand side, there's an education goal tab. There, you would choose your school, you would choose your degree type, you would choose um, how many credits, um, it takes to complete the degree, how many you may already have, all of that information. That degree, that education goal has to be approved by your education office. That's step two. Step three, once that's approved, then, let me make sure, then once that's approved, you'll see a button that says apply for funding on that same education goal. And that's where you would select the specific classes that you're taking for that semester that you would need the tuition assistance for, right? So you would apply for, click on apply for funding, you would select your classes, make sure all of that's correct, and you'll see like the total amount of money it takes. You can cross check that with what it costs in like your school's portal, um, and you would submit that information. That information or that application for TA goes to your supervisor, right? So once your supervisor approves it, and your education may, your education office may have to approve it as well. Once they do that, then it's the last step, step four. All right, and you download the PDF. It's the AFRC form 27 PDF. And that's the PDF that you submit to your school so that your school sends, has the invoice from the Air Force to kind of get their money from the military. <laughs> right, so they're not, the military is not sending you the money, you're not holding on to it and then giving to your school. Now you send the PDF to your school and then it's like acting as an invoice and then to pay off the invoice, they kind of talk to the military to get that taken care of and get your classes paid for. Right, so that, those are the four steps to apply for TA. Those four steps do not take a long time. It can take three or four days, which I was very shocked about. So that's really great. Um, but also keep in mind that for tuition assistance, the earliest you can apply is 60 days prior to your class start date. And the latest you can apply is seven days prior to your class start date. So make sure you know all of your deadlines for your school, your payment, your registration, all of that, and kind of time it with the TA um, restrictions or timeline as well. Yeah, but I hope this was helpful. It's a very simple and easy process. Um, if you need more detailed information on how to get it, the TA briefing will lay it out for you, but I want to let you know that it is possible. The money is available. It can be used because I'm about to use it, <laughs> okay? Um, but let me know if you guys have any questions. As always, I hope you guys are doing well. Flight school is going well. I'm gonna be putting out more videos about flight school, about what to expect, about my first seven days, about what to pack, so make sure you stay tuned. And thank you for rocking with me this entire time. If you have not subscribed, please do. Just click on the subscribe button below, give the video a thumbs up as well, and continue to follow my journey. Um, I like sharing it with you. I like being able to be a resource because on the reserve side, it can be a lot of question marks, like what's going on? How do I get my money? <laughs> All right, so I want to be a resource if you don't have one already, but thanks so much for watching um, and like always I'll see you guys in the next video